Yo, what's up? It's Koyla Ray, and I want to give a special shout out to all my fans. Thank you so much for streaming my sophomore album, Koi, out on all streaming platforms. We're top 10 on Spotify, US, top 10 US global on Spotify, and also top five on iTunes, Apple Music. Thank you so much for all the blessings. Um, I'm so glad you guys appreciate the versatility and keep streaming. Good morning, everybody. This is your brother Van Silk, not in my house. That's right, not in my house with Van Silk. You can catch me on rumble.com and youtube.com. Great content, great information. We keep it all positive. Today, I'm going to talk about female rapper Cola Ray. Now, I've been in this business a long time, since the beginning of hip hop. And as we approach the 50th anniversary of hip hop this year, August 11th, 2023. Now I started taking my morning walk, but I wanted to talk about this because it was very important. As I noticed, many people on social media have their channels, a lot of followers. They have influence over people. So as I sat here yesterday and did my research on Coley Ray's new album, which I happen to like a whole lot, a whole lot, they did a great job over there. Thank you, Amina, for the work you'll put in. But Coley Ray is a different type of artist. It's, to me, this album is damn near a classic. Black Rose is a great song. Man's World, Bitch Girl, Plays. Even the song with Saucy Santana, I put my top five up, what I like, on my Spotify channel when I talked about it in the audio version last night. But I don't understand how all of y'all sat up here, About I watched about 15 different channels on YouTube yesterday, and everybody's worrying about the first week sales. First week sales, that don't determine the artist's future. Because y'all fans are the ones who failed her. She didn't fail. It's your fans. Allegedly so-called fans. Not only do this young lady has a career in rap, she has a career in modeling. I watch everything she do. She's the perfect fit. But see, she's spitting lyrics in her song. Go listen to Man's World. Go listen to it. Go listen to Black Rose. Go listen to it. If Players wasn't a good enough song for y'all, which use two classic Busta Rhymes and Grandmaster Flash in the Figures 5. Her show is totally different from all the other female rappers. And that's why I follow her. That's why I post her stuff to help support her. But nobody gave a review on her album yesterday. Everybody talk about, oh, the first week sales, or first week sales, this and that, and this is the mistake they made, and this is this and that. All you social media, computer, iPhone, bloggers, podcasters, whatever you want to call yourself. Excuse me. I guess I was looking for negativity. Instead of y'all sitting up here saying, I like this song, or this song is nice. I like the lyrics in that song, this and that. Nobody did a review. Everybody did a discussion about 10 weeks, I mean 10,000 in the first week. This is not what the record industry is about. She's working. She has a tour that she's on, or festivals, or whatever she's doing. We all need to support the artists who are really trying to maintain lyrical contents in their songs. Even the song with Saucy Santana, like, what's wrong with it? Her album is just damn near the same as almost as Beyonce's. She gave you different diversity in the album. She took James Brown, Man's World, and flipped it around. And nobody's saying about, wow, the lyrics in that song is like that. You know? Nobody said nothing about, the, it's, it's a bitch girl. Nobody said nothing. 
And I'm not trying to figure out what what was the problem. Now, this young lady here, first album, okay. Second album, you sit up here and tell me that there's nothing in there nobody like. Nothing in there that nobody wants to sack or purchase or buy or support. But it's funny how people get on TikTok and, can, and do a viral song. I'm not gonna call none of the females out here. That's not what I do on my channel. Not in my house with Van So No, we keep it positive. Cola Ray is an artist. She's gonna be around. As long as her label support her, she's gonna be around. Because times are changing. Nicki Minaj and, 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 and Cardi B is in a whole different lane. But when, when Coley Ray and Nicki Minaj did that song, I looked on YouTube, what was it, 40 million views? Does that mean it was, it was viewed more than 40 million times? I'm going to go back today and look at her album and see where the views are on YouTube. I'm going to go and check the platforms. But the only thing we all can do is support. The only thing all y'all with a platform with followers could do, like, listen, go out and support the album. It's a nice album. It only could become great if everybody stopped trying to be a star. I ain't seen nobody say this is a great album or this is a great song here. This is, the lyrics in this song made sense, whatever, because she ain't talking the obscure stuff that everybody else is talking. I guess you take a hit, huh? That's the way it works these days. I would interview her any day. Leave her father Benzino out. That's her father. Why y'all gotta discuss her father in, 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 in her topic? Nothing against Benzino, but come on. She ain't a little child, she's a, she's, a, she's, a, she's a grown woman. And she hustling hard. Every day, I see new stuff on her. The top ghouls in the fashion world mess with her. She's wearing their stuff. She's traveling, she's doing fashion shows. Her whole thing ain't based on her twerking. She has lyrics. She's not using auto tunes on all her songs. So what's the problem with the album? I don't see no problem. And I've been in hip hop longer than any of y'all on YouTube. Matter of fact, I've been in hip hop any, longer than any of y'all talking about hip hop or rap. Been in it longer, and my ears are not dead. Oh, Boosie sold 500 copies. Well, did y'all talk about any of Boosie songs? A young thug, he did 100,000. Or so-and-so did this much. And so-and-so did that much. Stop worrying about the record sales and go out and support the album. Stop being a follower. Be a leader. Or the label didn't support it enough. Hey, listen. It's out. You know it's out there. What more support do you need? It's out there in front of you. You all know she has a second album. You all know she got new songs. So how much more do the label need to do? What you want the label to do? Tell me, all you geniuses out here, what do you want the record label to do? You know the album is out, so what more do you need to do? What more do they need to do? Ain't none of your real fans. Could all y'all feel, oh, I should get the album for free because I'm so-and-so, or they need to send me this, or they need to send me that. Ain't nobody reviewed the album. I haven't seen no reviews about no songs, nothing. So the fans failed her. 10,000 in the first week, okay. Maybe she can sell 30,000 this week. Oh, they worry about, she's number 102 on Billboard. Assassination of people's character is what y'all doing, man. It seems like it don't matter. No, it doesn't matter these days who put out an album. LL just had an album come out. Y'all excuse this truck. I'm out here doing my morning walk. This is Van Soap, not in my house. I'm on Rumble.com. I'm on YouTube.com. And I've been in hip-hop a long time, and I just don't like the way things are going when it comes to the rap music side and the record labels and artists work hard to put out real good music. Good music that you can dance to. Good music that you can listen to. Yet everybody want to just it on her 
Oh, she did 10,000 for a week. You know, many people look at her because her song went viral on TikTok and all this. So it got to go viral on TikTok for everybody to want to play it. It doesn't make any sense. See, your modern day fans don't understand the music industry. None of y'all are in the music industry. Just because you have a channel on YouTube or Rumble or, or Patreon or Twitch doesn't make you part of the hip hop culture. You're just a person who invited yourself to talk about it because there's not really any talk about hip hop or music on there. Everybody's talking about negativity. Who killed who? Who been to jail? Who, who got to get checked in? And all this nonsense. As long as we can keep it negative, the record industry don't care. Well, you take a real artist. She's a real artist. I look at her as a real female rapper. You don't hear no garbage about her personal life on social media. Is that the problem? Y'all don't have anything to talk about her negatively? The only negative thing you'll add is when her father came out and he was talking and she retracted some of the stuff her father was talking about when she did The Breakfast Club. She was just on Mad Hoffa. But long as she ain't out here being dirty and grimy, guess it don't work. Well, you guess what? You got a friend over here with Van Silk, somebody in hip hop who respect what you are doing. Well, Public Hill Records is doing a good job with you. And like I said, if everybody knows she has an album, what more do you want the record label to do? What do you want them to do promotional-wise? The girl is out working. She's working. She was just at Summer Jam. She's all over the place. She's self-promoting herself. Go to her YouTube channel. What more y'all need to do? What more y'all need? But yet, when they can have nonsense, or who fought who, and who beat up who, and... Who did that? Y'all off that, y'all champion for that nonsense. And that's why they said no artist charted <laughs> in Billboard, which Billboard don't change or make anything. It's the fans. You want to spend $1.99 for a song? If you want to spend money to buy the album? Go get the album. Stop letting everybody else dictate what you should listen to just because they made out like it. I consider them haters. But I'm going to cut this conversation short. Y'all can follow me on YouTube. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. You can leave a comment. You can leave a comment here. I'm not going to respond to no comment. Follow Coley Ray on her page. Support and go get an album. That's all I got to say. Like Marlo Stansfield said from The Wire, it's one way. With Van Silk, it's one way. I'm out and y'all have a blessed day. Yo, what's up? It's Coyla Ray, and I want to give a special shout out to all my fans. Thank you so much for streaming my sophomore album, Koi, out on all streaming platforms. We're top 10 on Spotify, US, top 10 US global on Spotify, and also top five on iTunes, Apple Music. Thank you so much for all the blessings. Um, I'm so glad you guys appreciate the versatility, and keep streaming.